Early voting is underway in Georgia. The state already seeing record numbers at the polls. Yeah, and from the last update at about 3.30 this afternoon, the Georgia Secretary of State's office has about 235,000 people have already voted. That surpasses the last record number of votes on the first day of early voting by about 100,000. Ariana Stansfield joins us live from the Savannah Civic Center where people have been casting their ballots all day long. And Anna, has it been a steady stream of voters? Yeah, Mike, uh, as I've been here throughout the day, I've seen a constant flow, no long lines forming, but a pretty constant flow of voters in and out here today. And elections officials, along with voters, say this has been a really quick, smooth, and easy process here today with only a few hiccups. But despite that ease, there are a few things that officials want you to keep in mind as you hit the polls this election season. The first, during the early voting period, there are seven different locations that you can head to and Unlike Election Day, where you have to go to your assigned precinct during early voting, you can choose any of those seven locations to hit the polls. And once you get there, all you'll need to bring with you is a valid form of ID. Along with the presidential race, you'll also see some local races on your ballot and three different referendums. Those referendums are typically longer questions that officials say can sometimes be confusing. So they're asking and recommending that you take a look at the ballot before you get here just to make sure that you fully understand each one. You can find your specific ballot online using your My Voter page. Uh, a big priority in Georgia this year is making sure voters feel safe and secure at the polls. After the state was under lots of scrutiny following the 2020 election, local elections officials say Georgians should have full trust in this year's process. Our system has been subjected to a number of audits and uh, additional training, additional rules, additional legislation, all of which had the intent of making our elections more secure and more reliable, more trustworthy for the public to rely upon for this historic vote. So in addition to a historic turnout rate, we're looking forward to the safest and the most secure election in Georgia history. Early voting here at the Civic Center does end at 6 o'clock tonight. I'll be out here tracking the lines until then. And coming up on the news at 6, I'll have more on, uh, you know, sound from voters on why they feel like it's important to be out here, especially on this first day of early election, along with reaction from the Secretary of State on how he's feeling uh, this election season is going so far. For now, we're live in Savannah. Anna Stansfield, WTOC News. Thanks, Anna. To find your polling place and for all of our election coverage, head to our website, WTOC.com. Just look for the Election Center tab under the News tab. Well, the supply chain could be facing some...